want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. Hope you're having a great day. If you like these videos, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Now, in saying that, Christina Lake Cannabis is one of the cannabis stocks that I believe has an incredible future. They had some news, and let's break down the news from about a week ago that I think is extremely important for everyone to be aware of. So the start of the 2021 growing season, Christina Lake Cannabis begins transferring over 45,000 plants from the greenhouse to the field. This is the news on June 15th, Christina Lake Cannabis Corp, CLC in Canada on the Canadian Securities Exchange, CLC FF in America on the OTCQB Exchange, and CLB in Frankfurt, Germany is currently in the process of transferring over 45,000 plants from its on-site greenhouse facility to the field area for transportation and transplantation, allowing each plant to begin growing under natural sunlight as CLC prepares for the 2021 growing season. In a press release dated May 19th, 2021, the company provided an update regarding its current activities and milestones attained in Q2 2021, which included the migration of mature clones from the propagation room to the greenhouse, a key phase in the research and development R&D timeline for CLC's proprietary cannabis strains. After the company's master growers determined approximately 30,000 clones were suitable for further experimentation through outdoor cultivation, CLC's team began migrating the clones onto the field for transportation and transplantation, along with approximately 15,000 seedlings of non-experimental strains, which have already grown to between 1.5 feet, 45 centimeters, and 2 feet, 61 centimeters in average height. For the 2021 growing season, CLC has increased its total count of pots, many of which contain multiple plants, for commercial scale growing by 15% from 22,500 pots in 2020, to approximately 26,000 25 gallon 95 liter pots this year. Seven strains of cannabis will comprise the majority of the company's crop, with approximately 50 strains still in R&D to identify genetic formulations with benefits to include durability for outdoor growth and increased potency of tetrahydrocannabinoidal THC. In a press release dated December 18th, 2020, the company stated that it had identified a market deficit with respect to the selection of cannabis strains specifically suited to outdoor growth. Given the sustained popularity of this cultivation method, the company is continuing its R&D initiatives, both for the purposes of growing its own plants, as well as potentially supplying seeds to other licensed producers that cultivate cannabis outdoors under natural sunlight. Climate forecast for the Christina Lake region of British Columbia for the months of June through October 21 indicate very favorable conditions for outdoor cannabis cultivation. With a newly expanded operational team, the company intends to carry out full-scale cultivation throughout the 2021 growing season alongside its R&D activities, as well as around-the-clock extraction using the company's Vitalis R200 machine with the Consolvent Injection System. In addition to initiatives to continue building the company's sales pipeline for dried cannabis, extracts, distillates, winterized oils, keef, etc., and prepared consumer ready goods, which the company may add to its offerings in the near future. For example, pre rolls, which would be great. Nico Dehan, Chief Operating Officer of Christina Lake Cannabis, commented in terms of both cultivation and RD. It is very exciting for us to be bringing tens of thousands of plants out to the field as the 2021 growing season begins. We have identified seven key cannabis strains that are tried and true and will make up the bulk of our crop this year. Though we have all, though we also have over seven times as many experiential strains 
that have made their way through the R&D process to the point that they are now ready to begin growing outdoors. With a focus on cannabis extracts, maximizing our THC yield is a key consideration in our development of cannabis strains, some of which have shown potency of over 20% in our lab tests. Having recently nearly tripled our extraction capacity, we are keen to see how these increased THC levels could translate into a competitive advantage as we enter our second full year of operations as a fully integrated licensed producer whose activities go from soil to oil. We look forward to seeing how 2021 unfolds with respect to all areas of our business. So they're just getting ready to do some big things. And about Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Christina Lake Cannabis Corp is a licensed producer of cannabis under the Cannabis Act. It has secured a standard cultivation license and corresponding processing sales amendment from Health Canada, March 2020 and August 2020, respectively, as well as a research and development license, early 2020. CLC's facility consists of a 32-acre property, which includes over 950,000 square feet of outdoor grow space, offices, propagation, and drying rooms, research facilities, and a facility dedicated to a processing and extraction. CLC also owns a 99-acre plot of land adjoining its principal 32-acre site, which enables the company to grow at a much larger scale. CLC cultivates cannabis-using strains specifically developed for outdoor cultivation and in its inaugural harvest year produced 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds on its existing facility before developing an adjacent 99-acre expansion property. Such an expansion will ultimately bring CLC's annual cultivation footprint to over 4.35 million square feet, which could enable at least 150,000 kgs, 330,693 pounds of low-cost, high-quality, sun-grown cannabis to be produced annually by the company. This is uh, from Joel Demarsk, the CEO and director of Christine Light Cannabis Corp. And man, this, this could be the start of something big for Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Obviously, cannabis stocks have really retraced and lost momentum. Eventually, when they gain steam again, I believe that this is going to be a company that's really going to benefit from that. Love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We brought this pick at 38 cents first. It went to a dollar. Now it's come back down to around 50 cents. I still believe that this is going to go to a dollar in the future. So for investors that get in at 50 cents or lower, there's going to be a chance to make a double. Stay tuned. This is Rich from Rich TV Live. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. We brought Christina Lake Cannabis first, had a big move, retraced like the entire cannabis sector. The question is, when's the next big move coming? I think it's going to happen this fall. So is this the time to get into Christina Lake Cannabis? Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out.